Hi everyone. Welcome to episode 13 of Innocent Girl. And in episode 12, we got some pretty chaotic events that happened. But either way, um, it looks like um, Wataru is trying to throw away his life of art because of that one embarrassment that he had to go through. So, um, as an artist, he was an award-winning poet under the name of Kiwari Hoshizora. And I think when he went to claim one of his awards for his poet works, it looks like he fell over and, um, he might have had a wardrobe malfunction, his clothes got stuck in something, and he accidentally stripped himself. And it was in the photos. Or at least, um, the whole audience saw it. And because of such embarrassment, Wataru doesn't want to be famous anymore. He just wants to be a normal, regular boy. And to do that, he wants to throw out his whole life of art. And including poetry. But now that he's in the art school, the art school, including Ichigo, remembers Wataru for his past artwork. And um, of course, Wataru only rem remembers that one event. By the way, I don't think Wataru has a very good reason why he wants to throw out his life of art just because of that one incident because over the years people will forget about that and they'll just probably remember him about like wow what good poet he was um, what good poet did he write um, what a good artistic talent he has and despite the girls convincing him he does not feel convinced and then we were left in a, with a pretty um, chaotic scene um, the juice time where Kanai literally exposed everything that she did to Wataru during the afternoon and it caused the dominoes to fall because Konoka jumped in, Kagari jumped in, Ichigo jumped in and definitely Hinako and now Hinako's jealous and then after the rowdiness it looks like now everyone has just passed out, and Wataru's up. So let's see what happens next. So he's like, um, oh well. First of all, I felt consciousness with breathlessness. Oh, I was sleeping. I guess it was on the floor. I tried to take a deep breath for time being, but it made me feel uncomfortable. Hmm, something. It's on my face. What is it? In the sense that gurgliness and numbness crawl through the whole body, move your arms and remove foreign objects. Pillar. It's a mask that is more like a mask than a popular match. Um, like the game underwear like one. That was given a handful of pink color fabric area and excessive frill given to you with Hero Hero. I'm not sure what that means. And mo moreover, it's slightly warm. Hinako! You! Okay, I'm not really sure what Hinaka is talking about, but something about her Onichan. Hinaka, who rolls on the floor and sleeps in a very good smile, whether she is looking at a very happy dream. So, so she's probably sleep talking.
Well then, what about Kanai? Kanai san. So Kanai is sleeping with her head in the kotatsu. And um, the pillow is at her legs or at her feet. So that's a very sloppy sleeping pattern. Ah, uh, it's a well wonderful annihilation. Who's that? What is it? So it looks like Ichigo's having a very vivid dream as well. And I think she's on the sofa or something. And then... Hi everyone, I apologize about the sun skip, and that's because um, Wataru then realized many pieces of underwear were littered all over him, and it's because this lady, Reno, or Konoka's mom, is trying to get inspiration for art, and she's taking advantage of everyone while they're passed out from that juice event. And um, we also liked the sleeping faces of everyone. And as she was going to take a picture to save her later because um, it's late at night and she's obviously not doing art right now. Wachara wakes up and ruins her um, display. So she's kind of upset about it. And so is Wataru, he's telling her to restore everything and to cut out with her inspiration. But anyways, it looks like Wataru is going to take a chill outside after all the chaos that's been happening. And let's see how Reno responds. So anyways, I'll hit the wind outside. So she's asking, Do you say this time as Kirari Sensei? Um, what's, what's that? We will be invited to the tea party of fairies. Uh, well, um, yes. Let me say it and do not. I mean, I also like what I'm doing normally. So I think it's trying to justify like, um, well, I'm okay if I'm not Kirari Sensei anymore. I have a new goal, a new life. Okay then, um, go take a rest outside. Yes. And why am I sympathizing with someone that does not have pants. So this Reno hasn't really been giving Wataru a good impression, especially during the first visit, where she was doing all these women jokes as her inspiration for art, and I had to cut that part out. While subtly not convinced, I headed to the Terrence with a heavy foot. Ah. Okay, so Wataru is now heading out to the Terrence and also stretching himself and relieving him of all the stress that from earlier. So, um, the juice event, all those crazy people like Ichigo, Reno, Hinako, Kanai, Konoka. Well, kind of good to a small extent. But anyways. So, um, looks like there's somebody at the Terrence. 
I a hero? Aya got a glance at me, who muttered unintentionally. The line of sight soon got back to the picture that she was working on, and she kept moving her hands gently. While I am playing, uh, while she was playing with her long hair in the night breeze, she moved her brush with indifference to that of a mischief. So basically, um. The environment doesn't bother her, and she just focuses on painting. Um? Am I in the way? I saw all the words that seem to be asked. So he thinks he's bothering her while she's concentrating on painting. In that case, you surely have an attitude. As far as I can see, I don't think I'm in the way. In the first place, she probably would not have even noticed my presence. So she's so concentrated that pretty much everything else around her is unnoticed. She is immersed in that big square piece of paper in front of her, it's her canvas. She sat on the- I sat on a nearby chair and looked at the ocean with Aya. In spite of the distance, it is small, but the sound of waves can be clearly heard. The nice calm night. Signs of the night, slight ripples, the sea shining by reflecting the moonlight and the sound of a brush tracing through a watercolor paper. Ensemble in a quiet, silvery snowscape. While listening to it comfortably, I was looking at the um, barely drawn picture. The brush strokes the paper without stagnation. And even though it should be quieter than the sound of waves, the sound of brush shows off its presence of scorching. So you can actually hear the brush strokes clearly. The sound of a konkan cutting water at the edge of a water tub. A stroke of transfer of colors from the palette to the paper. All the series seems to be like a dance step, so all the steps. I admire the dimension is different from the way I draw pictures. So this is probably um, Kagari style of painting, very focused. Draw like flowing, flowing water. Besides, it's a very natural, it's a very rapid flow. Nevertheless, her brushwork is not disturbed. Oh, I think I disturbed her. It's bad. When she continues to wave the hand, the do not continue message, the brush continues to dance again. A relaxed, indifferent profile. Sometimes, the fingertip that gently pushes like a mother soothes a child with a keep still on her cheeks. The line of sight travels back and forth between the sea and the picture under construction, and the time for the painting to gradually increase. It's still being painted, but I'm starting to have an idea of the outline, or um, what the picture is about. That picture is obviously Kagari Ayashiro's drawing. 
I know, cause um, this is probably, or well, this is the same painting, or the same style that I saw in the entrance of the school. So that big mural that um, Wataru was drawn into the moment he walked in, and then Ichigo says that it was painted by one of her um students. A unique writing brush, color sheen, breathing. It creates the only world. This has to be Aya's world. Okay, so she knows. Says, watch hard one more time. Oh, really bad. Um, something back. Raising hands like sorry, where I try. Um, I raise my back to dissipate. This is the twinkling world. So she's now talking to Wataru. And Wataru's like, eh? The starry sky of Kiraru's world. And, um? I suddenly confess my name, or she suddenly confessed my name, but I don't mind Ayashiro, but let her um, dance a brush. The dance does not show any blur and it spins the words. I read the poetry a little while ago and the inside of my chest got fluffy. So it looks like um, Wataru's poems as Kiwari um, really inspired Kagari as well. So you're painting to it. Mm hmm So this is the world of the um, Starry Sky Kiwari. I don't know why. Certainly, I often use the night sky and the sea as a motive. And I think um, those elements is also what applies to um, or kind of fits well with Kagari's paintings. But, well, it's not beautiful enough to draw like that. Well, I'm not really sure what he's complaining about. So. And Kagari's like, so? A word that mixed humility and self-destruction was truncated to be uninteresting. So I'm not sure um, what other concerns he has about his poems. Just like that do not care attitude. And silence once again falls. Well, was it? In such case, it is helped by the faint sound of the waves. Completely silent, I will break my heart. After seeing it for a while, I had got a cloth aside. She rubbed the paper with it and put a facial expression on the color. Not only that, there are various ways to use brushwork if you look carefully. Laying down the brush, um, it was hit like a, pol a, a point to list that in the end, shake it finely. After all, there are various ways to paint and draw. Such a comment will leak oddly. Looking at that straight eyes for such a moment. Some Kagari's like, this is how Kirari's poems was. Hmm, but I didn't use any technique when I did my when I 
did all those. So like, um, well it's free writing, I didn't use any kind of technique or any kind of method. It's just how it is. But that's not the case. Well that's not the point. I was struggling with lots of hard work to express what I imagined. And um, Kirari cheers the word. So it's probably like um, she's kind of confused about what she was trying, was, was thinking about, and um, Kiaru, like um, or the poems help clarify her thought and her um, her feelings. So technique is supplemented with effort and time, but passion is not so. Did you want to show technique? Did you want to show technique or did you want to tell it properly? Probably like no matter what tools you have, if you don't have a good story or a good idea, it's never going to look good. That's not to be said. I just try and try to tell the other party what I was trying to say. But at that time, I was just being infatuated or just being absorbed. Well, that's, that's kind of similar to what Kagari is like now. She gets absorbed in her painting that she puts everything else aside. That's what I'm crazy about, not noticing what I want to tell someone. Aya, is that so? I express only what I received. So please, don't praise such a technique. It's an arbitrary story that seems to be an artist. However, as a human being who made something, I feel like understanding. Your poem shines, glittering, it was the light of a sweet star, a superficial, stellar light. No, no, don't say that, wait, don't say that, wait, that's kind of embarrassing, you know? Do you feel bad? It's embarrassing, are you not saying? Hmm. Um, what is it? I cannot endure a sharp gaze and inadvertently ask the meaningless question. And naturally she ignored it. How did you get involved in a dream that cannot be said to people? That's pretty much an important question for Watari. The idea that, like, um, why do something if you're afraid to show it to the public or if you're afraid of the reception? Mm, dot, dot, dot. In the back of my head, bitter things are spreading. I'm trying to, to select the theory or the reasoning I prepared so far in my head. But that is, um, and he's hesitant at giving it out. The mouth, heart, body refuse to spit it out. Until now, there were as many reasons as to leave the poem or to quit poetry. It's definitely not physiologically impossible. Okay. Okay, so it looks like um she stepped down from her canvas. With a sound that the brush 
hits the plastic water tub, she returned back to her senses. So, um, looks like she's washing her brush. As I saw it, I put down the brush and removed the clasp that held the canvas up. So you're done? Mm hmm A short note that cannot be answered by both an answer and an appeal. At the same time, Aya gave the picture, or handed it to me. Eh? Why? I'll give you, um, a kariwari. Um, hope you like it. But it should work, you know. Why are you giving this to me? I understand it as much as I drew draw for um Korigo. And um she handed the picture and after that she left the Terrence. So I think she gave um Watari the painting because it talks about him and um what she feels about his poems. And um the feeling of how much or how powerful Wataru's poems actually are. And maybe it be, might be an incentive to have asked him. Um, maybe you should rethink about your um, motivation to quit art once and for all. At that time, I did not glance this. Nevertheless, I was staring at the backstrokes. Or, um, the techniques that she used to do the painting. So, um, after that, I'm not really sure what's the reason for Wataru being embarrassed with his artwork. But, um, I thought it was probably because of the incident with the, um, awards. But it looks like it's probably because as he grew older, he realized that everything that he's done has gotten quite embarrassing. And the fact that, um, he probably changed in his thought process and was probably like, Why would I do that in the past? Why did I do this? Or I would not, never have thought about this. And despite it being remembered and praised, um, he's trying to erase it from everyone's minds and hopefully hide it under the covers. So after the, um... So after, um... Ayashiro or Kagari went back into the room. He cleaned up all of her painting tools. And um, it looks like him, he's going to go to bed now. And while watching the ceiling, I am thinking about what I've captured for a long time. How did you get involved in a dream that cannot be said to people? That one important question. That word keeps, um, that word keeps, um, fresh and inside my head. Why? So he's probably asking himself, why would I do this? Like, what made me start this? Or, what got me into poetry in the first place? And more importantly, what got him to stop? So I think it's more than just the, the photo incident and the, um, the fact that he grew up. Maybe because I grew up? Or maybe because um, the world has changed since then? Is it embarrassing to say something to other people? For some reason, it seems crappy of all the thousands of good transactions that I've ever thought. Even though we're armed with theory and proved legitimacy. 
It's only a word. It shakes unnecessary. Hmm. Genius? I looked at the picture that I got from Aya and was murmuring something unconsciously. The paintings just born still seemed to have felt for felt breathing and the smell of the paint was still strong. Nevertheless, the impression that I have is still with the picture I saw in the room, in her room. Hmm, incomplete. Is this is this the picture? Or is it something else? Hmm. Well, anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep now. So if it was an incomplete picture, um Watari should probably know that um maybe his poems gave Aya some idea on how to finish it, how to complete it, or ideas on how can you make it better and make it look more complete than it was. So it looks like you use a remote control and turn the lights out, or turn the lights off. And they put the picture, or Aya's picture, on a desk that's next to his bed. Hmm. Strangely cranky? I felt uneasy about something. Although it was the first day of a new life, there were many things too much. But why, why, why? I don't feel like this is over yet. I think too much. I just touched the collections of the past works after long abs absence. I'm upset. I quietly close my eyes as to push so that a presentiment may be forced. I'm okay. I think I can get used to this new life. And I reportedly tried to tell you that I fell asleep. Okay, what happens next? Okay, so we hear the sound of the wood planks. Uh oh, we got a stranger coming. But I'm sure you know who it is. Please wait, Onichan. Your little sister Hinako's gonna come now. <laughs> Okay, so, um, during that juice incident, um, Hinoka got jealous that, um, she's losing her grip with, um, Onichan. Now it looks like she's, she's gonna try to use this opportunity to get closer to him. After Kanai, Konoka, and Kagari. And right before Ichigo. And such things, such things. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, it's blacked out. Can't really show you what she's thinking about, cause she's up to no good. Okay, so this is the opening movie for Instant Girl, and this marks probably concluding the playthrough. So unfortunately, you won't be seeing what happens next with Hinako. But, 
But I just look at this opening route so far. We can see how much more there is to the story with these girls compared to Prino Party, where we play as this main character named Yu, who impresses all the girls that he comes across with his honeypot gaming skills in an attempt to build his harem. Instead, we play as Watar Nanami, who in his former life was a poet under the name of Kiori Fujizora. And despite him winning all these poetry awards and having a special edition magazine featuring his poems, Watar wants to abandon it somehow. I'm not really sure why, because the game really didn't explain. But if I had to guess, it would be because A. As Watari grew older, he realized that what he was doing was quite embarrassing. So he wants to disown poetry or his poems. Or B. When Watari was presenting his poems to a large group of audience, something embarrassing happened. And it traumatized Watari to the point where he never wants to go back to art ever again. But this, despite all the setbacks, we see that these girls were inspired and influenced by Wataru's poems. Especially Chiga, because she was super duper excited when Wataru was going to enroll at her school. That she basically just told everyone about it. The idea that um, Wataru was this revolutionary art student. Which um, the classmates, the teacher never saw. In a sense, I think that um, Wataru's poems inspire these girls to become better artists. Hinako to sing, Konoko to do sculpting, and we just saw Kagari with her paintings, and maybe Kanai with her writing. And I'm pretty sure in the common route, we're going to see what's bothering Wataru and maybe how these girls are going to encourage Wataru to go back to art. And in exchange, maybe Wataru might be using his art talent to help these girls become even better artists. So in a sense, you kind of get this nice exchange between the characters compared to Prino Party, where all the girls idolize this you because you were able to impress everyone with the honey pop gaming skills. So um, by looking at the game outside, we see that um, Frontwing has no plans to release this game in English yet. Well, as of this recording, along with Pure Girl, but you may see it sometime in the future. And if you want to play this game, it's available on the demo route. So everything that I've shown you can be found on the demo route on Frontwing's Japanese website. And with that in mind, I'll see you in a future game on a future playthrough.